<laughs> uh, so just to repeat myself again, if you feel that you need to say something, please uh, do so um, uh, as and when you, the odds takes you. So just to begin this one, here's some music again, and uh, once more it's Strathclyde Peace. So if you can hear that, Andy, just a bit like that. Times a couple of issues ago, we made a very good point about how young pipers these days can't play dots and tails, and he, he believed it was because the bands were playing these even rhythm tunes, and he put his hands up and admitted that he was part to blame for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't want to say, well, I told you so, but there you go. Um, it's the first to what I want, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the band I'm going to let you hear now is really the best of them all, better than anything that any of these have been involved with. It's a very poor recording, I have to say. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's a... It's <laughs> <laughs> a... Uh, uh, 1977 at uh, Toronto at the CNE, it's Muirhead and Sons performance, quite magnificent and uh, untouched as far as I'm concerned. Uh, oh, uh, I was in his bed for it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to hear about that. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> now the point I want to make of those these two examples was weren't they bright cheery tunes? Didn't they give you a lift? Eh? Well they did me anyway, both of them. <laughs> and now what you hear nowadays are these horn match things. Of which we hear match pipes, is that what you call it? <laughs> Do they have to
you know, okay, excellent playing, but I believe that that style has come in because it suits the ensemble adjudicators. The drums and pipes can go stick for stick or note for note on the performance and it sounds very tight playing. It's much more difficult to go for drums to follow that dots and tails. So, I don't know if you agree with me lads, but... No, I don't. Well, there's a surprise. This <laughs> <laughs> was your last statement. I agree with everything until you said, well, it's, it's, much, until you said it's much more difficult. Uh, a lot of people call it, well, some uh, said in the article that, that they were losing the art of playing uh, the duck record. Uh, these tunes are not round as people would label them round. They're rhythmic. Unfortunately, as you go down the grades, the, the band and the pipers are not capable of playing the light shade rhythm within the thing. I always remember when uh, Tom McAllister gave me the tune Sandy's New Chanter, and I've still got the cassette recording of it. He gave it in practice chanter and said, I've written it, I've, this new tune. He says, have a listen to it. And he, and he played the tune like, Very of shots at the time when, when it was all fat guys before my year, you know, up the front, the big airy big front right they had, and used to be the like the coming back. <laughs> 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 they, they, had, they had that kind of big heavy duty swing when the band came on, and up they, they played Kitchener's Army and Tom Wells, and up at the same kind of uh, idiom. And they gave me the tune, and I was much younger than this, he's like, We're going to change that. And I, I went back, and I said, Here's how we're going to play it. And we actually played to a, a bossa nova rhythm, which is which is one two three one two three one two one two three one two three. It's a kind of bossa nova. Don't pick them on that. And any real that you play, and it should be played like that. So you're playing in that groove. What the war band do is. I don't like that round style. There's no such a thing as a round style. That's just bad wooden playing without any kind of groove. That was what you heard there from SFU. Just what you've just described. Ah, uh, um, that wasn't. That, I, I mean, that, was that wasn't. Like, <laughs> you know, that wasn't round rhythmical playing, which I quite like myself. But, but that's because that, that tune. It was the way they played it. I've taken it into an idiom, a rhythmic idiom that doesn't suit it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But the same Strathclyde Police were a one-trick pony as well. They would only play cut and dot. I remember when they, in, the, in the late latter years of uh, Ian McLeod when they, they played Rakish Paddy. Uh, uh, Rakish Paddy should be played like a, an Irish tune, almost like um, the bossa nova rhythm. <laughs>